Hello YouTube, my name is Hero and today we're going to be discussing going negative in Black Desert Online and when I say going negative I mean going negative karma and killing people to your heart's content without having to worry too much about anything. Now uh, there's a couple things I want to go over. The first thing is dispelling the rumors of going negative. Now a lot of people seem to be under the impression that going negative is this huge big disadvantage and it's just going to destroy your gameplay and you're not going to be able to get anything done. Um, that's not really true. Now there is one big 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 thing that stops you and, may, and, I, and I really would recommend that you don't go red if you aren't trying to do the, this and that is leveling up. Um, that's right because when you go red you actually lose 3% exp rather than 1.1% when you die so um, when you use a pearl or a tear from the item shop sorry and a tear to revive yourself to get that exp back you only get 1.5% back so when you die you're losing 1.5% every time you die and that's to pve pvp it doesn't matter so that's why um, dying to PvP death while red is pretty much makes it impossible to level up, especially when you're at the higher levels like 59, 60, where it can take hours just to get that 3% and then lose it all just from one death in PvP. And it's you, you just pretty much have to expect that you're gonna die when you're PvPing and when you're red. So there's really no point in trying to try to get around that, I suppose. The only way you can is if the only way you can is if you actually go out to the desert. Um, the desert is an area where you won't lose any exp at all if you die, but you will go to jail So there's that now As far as going red in the desert goes, it, it's actually the best place to go red um, You get to grind to your heart's content you make money all that you have a town That's just for red players uh, if you haven't heard of it and um, it's pretty nice to be red in the desert It's pretty much like just free you can do whatever you want um, and but when you die you go to jail you can escape from the prison I've done it plenty of times it's not that hard once you get used to the rotation of the prison and, and the direction you have to go and all that but uh, it's not the same PK and people in the desert as it is PK and people in the real world because in the real world there's like there's a whole bunch of people that saw sins. It's just more lively. You know, there's people at bosses. Maybe you want to kill some people at bosses, kill some people on the road. And if you just want to kill people to your heart's content, wherever you're at, that's where you want to be red in the mainland. Now, this is more for those people who want to go red in the mainland, uh, anywhere outside of the desert, I should say. So let's say you want to go red. Um, you're probably your biggest worry is, man, I'm going to lose all my gear. Well, a lot of people think that, but it's actually not true. No matter how many times you die to PVP death while being red, you will not degrade gear. If your gear is above pry, you will not degrade gear. This is a fact. It doesn't matter how many times you die, how low your karma is. Trust me, I've died plenty of times, negative 1 million, the maximum you can be, and I've never, ever, ever degraded. Now, there is a thing that says that you may lose it if you die to PVP. PVE death, which is a possibility, but I'm not going to test it, so I'm not 100% sure. Some people say if your gear is above pry, it cannot degrade at all, whether it's PVE, PVP, it doesn't matter. So that's something to consider. The next thing is um, you also have to worry about trying to get into towns for processing needs or crafting needs of your main account as a processing crafter. You have to worry about world bosses because it's pretty much impossible for you to do those now, uh, basically because you're red. And you also have to worry about finding an area to repair and, um, and get your get your potions and things like that, safe areas like that. And you also have to worry about being attacked by people who sometimes you can't even attack them back while you're in towns and things like that, putting stuff up on the marketplace. Um, the best place to go for putting stuff up on the marketplace is Alta Nova, though. Alta Nova uh, guards won't really attack you there. You, you can you can figure it out just going to Alta Nova. That's just a quick tip. So those are the big cons of going red. Now the pro, the pros for going red is once again, it's all go back to freedom, freedom that you can kill whoever you want, wherever you want, whenever you want. Kind of outweighs all the cons. Um, oh, I forgot a con. You do lose crystals when you when you die to pvp death you do lose crystals however um once you've lost all your crystals there's literally nothing else for you to lose you don't lose gear if you don't care about your exp you won't be losing the exp you'll just be able to kill whoever you want whenever you want grind to your heart's content for money and things like that now the big thing i, I recommend you doing is trying to find a way to reach uh the 
the caps you need for example if you need if your class needs attack speed if your class needs crit you're going to want to get those things um outside of crystals so say for example if you want to get five attack speed but you are but you have four from your you have three from your zaka one from your boss gear you just need to eat a media special to get five you know something like that you have to try to find a way outside of crystals to keep your attack speed up and your casting speed up and your crit up is as high as you can basically and that usually comes from foods and um and your gear essentially so for me it's really easy because all i need is attack speed really crit is okay for warriors but you really need attack speed and i can get five attack speed relatively easy but i do fine with just four anyways so this is just a quick little tip for you guys out there i just want to dispel some rumors that people think it's just so dangerous to go red when really it's not the only thing you really 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 have to consider is you won't be able to level up that's the that's the huge thing i have to say and for people who are like little 56 57 yeah you might not want to do it but if you're like 59 and you're tired of seeing people freaking in your spot all the time then hey why not just go red and kill everyone honestly i'm tired of this game being so care bearish so i'm going to be staying red for a very very long time because for me it's actually making the game way more fun but let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh you guys plan on going red anytime soon yes or no uh if you like the video hit me with a subscription it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace